welcome and welcome to the Asthma present how we're doing this beautiful day like before we get into the nitty-gritty uh strike the like button very very important subscribe yes, subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell uh let me re reiterate my <laughs> let me repeat myself i reiterate it strike the like button for those at the back subscribe yes, subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell yes on sunday the d day has come it. we are vying for this title as slim as the chances i get see some of you that came to my comment section telling me i'm delusional i don't know what i'm talking about it's over i should just move on i should stop stop like i'm not forcing you to share my optimism that's the problem with, the problem with the world these days is that people want to force themselves on you even though they have their personal problem and trauma see if you think and believe as as slim as the chances you don't you don't have any hope in the chance i get it and i said i understand but for me i am taking my chances with, with no matter how slim the chance i'm taking it I'm, I'm i'm not i'm not i'm not letting go of hope it's mm -hmm. a thin hope it's a thin chance it, you can debate how lean or how thin the chance is. is it 20 percent 15 percent five percent two percent but guess what objectively there's still a chance as i could still win the league he might be with the slimmest chance in the world there's still a chance what is wrong with that what's objectively wrong with the fact that i decide to hang on to the glimmer of hope if you don't hang on to the glimmer of hope i'm not forcing you like you cannot force your negativity on me and i cannot force my positivity on you you can't call my positivity of toxic because there's objectively a, a thin chance and the hypocrisy that most of you are just spouting that is that you are still keeping tabs on the match if you are sure that there's no chance for us now you won't be keeping tabs on this match and some of you are just uh you just you guys are just overly react because you want to be noticed mm. there are a lot of attention seekers i'm surprised men these days are now doing more of the attention seeking than women i'm surprised like i'm saying there's a chance which is objectively true what i said is objectively true and some of you are backing at me as if, as if i'm saying something that is untrue like, it's crazy now you might not like the fact that the chance is slim that's on you i i'm ready to take that chance as a slim that's on me so why are you pissed why are you pissed fix up fix up Fix up. So we play Everton uh, on Sunday in the final match. I'm not giving up. As much as I'm hoping West Ham can do us a favor and do us some beat, we have to take care of business at home. We have to take care of business. We can't be hoping and focusing too much that West Ham should do something at the ATR. And we keep our eyes off the ball and off the focus. And West and Everton can just sting us, get a draw, or actually might actually lose that match. Let's make sure we do our own beats at home, beat everything. And if you can score as much goals as possible, score the goals. Do, you, you, you cannot afford to be overly concentrated on, on, on Etihad and you lose your concentration at home and you get a draw or you lose. And so no matter what slim opportunity or chance uh, or, or any hope, that a West Ham might actually only favor they could do us if we don't get our own job done at home, we miss on both ends. So, for those of you who don't believe, it's on you. But I'm just surprised that you're still keeping tabs. Imagine you don't like something, uh, it belongs to the trash, but yeah, you're checking the trash to see whether it's still there. You, you're like, what is wrong with humanity these days? This disingenuous behavior, virtue signaling, and lying. It, 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 most of you have no integrity. Most of you don't like the truth. You just like what is popular. And what is popular is not necessarily the truth. What is popular doesn't have, most of the time, doesn't have integrity. It's just what is popular, what is trending. So for me, we have a chance. And for me, against Everton, we have to make sure we win at the Emirates. It's very imperative. And when, if you look at the last uh, five matches of both teams, Leicester for Arsenal, Arsenal have won their last five. Good record. Uh, Everton have won, their, won four out of their last five with one draw. So I remember Mikel Arteta was, was squeezed, I think, a few months ago about the potential point tally to win the league. He said 91. I get as I was right because 
even though we beat Everton on Sunday, the maximum we can get is 89 points, which is up to 91 points at Teta proposed earlier in the season for anybody that will be winning the title. So it is what it is. And I guess Man City are going to hit that mark. So, but if Man City draw, I guess we can win the league with 89 points. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that West Ham can do us a favor if Michael Antonio and some of the West Ham players are not training, uh, they're not training in the tower yet. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are thumping their chairs that they, they won't just go to the ATR and just lay down for Man City to trample upon them. So I'm hoping they can put some actions behind those words because talk is cheap. And I'm not stupid. I know this is advantage, advantage Man City. Man City have the better players. They have the better motivation to win the league the four times, which is no, that no team has done before. Uh, they are experienced. They have an experienced manager. But, you know, nerves could kick in, especially after, after the first half, they don't score. Or if West Ham scores first, a lot of things can go wrong. Last season, was it two seasons ago? I think last season, I remember we were Aston Villa scoring two goals, two quick goals in the first half, even though they came back to equalize. It is not impossible. It, stranger things have happened. So, uh, I expect us to beat Everton. Everton, a tricky customer. They, uh, their players might be on the beach. They don't have... My, 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 my excitement regarding Everton is that they're not too many technical players. They're more of a British uh, fighting team. And they are, their uh, Premier League status has been secured. So, there is too much to fight for. Right? And the, anytime they come to the Emirates, they always take a bashing. So, I expect that to continue. So, Maybe 2 0 or 3 0 at max. I don't think we will thump Everton that much because you know, even though they may be on the beach, they don't want to be embarrassed. So it should be a game we should be winning. Uh, I know the main focus will be at the Etihad. I think I'm still holding on to that, that thing, glimmer of hope that maybe West Ham might decide to spoil the parade. At least do something for David Moyes last game as a West Ham manager. Uh, Antonio, do something at West Ham at, at the Etihad. Uh, for do it for, for, for the London team. I'm, I'm, I'm just clinging to that and clinging rather, clinging to that that hope. And I said, I want to reiterate it again. You do not have to do the same thing. If you think your heart can't take it, uh, you're thinking it's advantage Man City, so Man are going to win it. It's fair. I understand. I respect that. But for me, I'm hanging on, hanging on tightly to that hope that maybe, just maybe, something can happen. And I would love it for as not to win the league for the integrity of the league, for the hard work Michael Arteta and the boys have shown this this season. I think I think you no, know, they should, you should earn something. You don't deserve anything. You earn what you get. So I'm, I'm hoping West Ham can make us earn the title this time by doing us a solid and a favor at the ATR. And on the flip side, Arsenal, you have to do your job at home too. Like beat everything convincingly, score a few goals, and let us have a celebration and see what it leads us to. So I'm still I'm I'm still sharing the optimism. I'm sharing the optimism that, that this title can still be Arsenal's. And if we don't win it, I still love this team. The trajectory for these boys is fantastic. I love what I'm saying. They are improving. They are young. Good, uh, young. Uh, uh, the, the, the age of the team on the average age is fantastic. You can see growth in the team. So I'm looking forward to a very, very fantastic Arsenal future, regardless of the result on Sunday. Either we win it or not, the trajectory for this team is fantastic and is looking good. In my own humble opinion, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you share my optimism, or do you think uh, the title is gone? That there is no way Man City are going to let it go at the ATR? Let me know in the comment section. And you have to be respectful. You might disagree with me. It's not an echo chamber. You are allowed and you're free to disagree. But come on, let's be civil, let's be respectful, let's be intelligent, and let's be logical. Don't just come here to disagree because you just want to be, just want some cheap attention. We are adults. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming, so let's act like one. We are civil human beings. Let's act like one. Your way out, uh, be kind enough to like the video. Very, very important. Subscribe, it, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. For those that are developed with him the first time, let me repeat it. Like the video, subscribe, it, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>